Wu-14 is the Pentagon's code name for a Chinese hypersonic glide vehicle that conducted its first flight test on January 9, 2014, as reported by Washington Free Beacon on January 14, 2014. On January 15, 2014, the Chinese Defense Ministry confirmed the test in a two-sentence statement fax to news agencies and state-run media in Beijing. The Free Beacon said the test made China the third country after the Russian Federation and the United States to have successfully tested a hypersonic delivery vehicle able to carry nuclear warheads at a speed above Mach 10, or 12,359 km per hour. China is also believed to be developing a hypersonic scramjet version that can be launched from air or ground. The HGV is less susceptible to anti-ballistic missile countermeasures than conventional re-entry vehicles. Normal RVs descend through the atmosphere on a predictable ballistic trajectory. Their high speeds made them unstoppable until the late 1980s, when land and naval-based interceptor missiles began to be developed to defeat ballistic warheads. An HGV can pull up after re-entering the atmosphere and approach its target in a relatively flat glide lessening the time it can be detected, fired at, or re-engaged if there is a miss. Gliding makes it more maneuverable and extends its range. The Wu-14 could be fitted to various Chinese ballistic missiles, such as the DF-21 medium-range missile and the DF-31 intercontinental ballistic missile, extending their ranges from 2,000 km to 3,000 km and 8,000 km to 12,000 km respectively. Analysts suspect that the Wu-14 will first be used in shorter-range roles as an anti-ship missile and for other tactical purposes to address the problem of hitting a moving target with a ballistic missile. Long-term goals may include deterrence of U.S. missile capabilities with the prospect of strategic bombardment against America, or other countries. With conventional interceptor missiles having difficulty against targets with late detection and maneuvering while traveling faster than Mach 5, the U.S. may place more importance on developing directed energy weapons as a countermeasure. The HGV stays within the stratosphere and glides through the air. Although that creates more drag, warheads fly further than they would on a higher trajectory through space, and are too low to be intercepted by exo-atmospheric kill vehicles, rendering conventional interceptors like the SM-3 useless. The trade-off is that warheads have less speed and altitude as they near the target, making them vulnerable to lower-tier interceptors. On August 7, 2014, the Wu-14 made its second test launch, which failed as it broke apart soon after launching. See also Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2, Rockwell X-30, Boeing X-51, Prompt Global Strike, Second Artillery Corps, References